Good morning, good morning, good morning. No. It's Friday, it's coffee, drugs, squash, coffee, drugs, squash. It's Friday, yay. Right, it's lunchtime and I've been busy drafting all of these vintage gold tone necklaces and I'm having some ham, eggs and cheese and a bit of uh, sugar-free brown sauce. Yum, yum. So I've been live on cellar, ladies. I've been live on my own channel, sorting out silver, and then live for a few minutes on Steve's channel, and now I'm doing some cooking before my Indian takeaway arrives, so I'm just making like a little side thing of um, spinach, 100 grams of spinach, cooked in about 20 grams of butter with some, um, some Indian spices. I could put some onion in there, but I'm not going to. And then I'm also going to do... Uh, cauliflower rice with a bit of kale in it as well. I'm so looking forward to dinner. Oh, beast. I look forward to it every week. Friday's my favourite day just for that reason. Mm. Beastly dinner. So that's my spinach cooked with spices and butter. I've got the cauliflower rice. I didn't put kale in, in the end. Some lime pickle, tandoori chicken and then tandoori chicken, kebab and lamb. Beast. Hello. Um, I fancy it like chocolate cake. Because I do. So, I'm going to make one. I'm going to make it in our mug. Now, you'd think I would have been sensible and gotten all of the ingredients ready, but I haven't. So, I'm going to follow a recipe online which is low carb mug cakes by Keto Connect and this is for delicious mug cake but to it I'm also going to add um, some cocoa powder as well to make a chocolate cake because that's what I fancy. Right, so I need some almond flour first and I know I'll need some erythritol too. Almond flour. Sorry about that. I couldn't find the almond flour, so I'm using Dr. Almond's Cake Magic instead, which is pretty much the same stuff. So, I need a... Should I just mix it straight in the cup? I'll just mix it straight in the cup. Right. So, three tablespoons of almond flour, or just this cake mix which is about 45 grams. So I can move this over here so you can see. Do, do, do. Okay, there we go. That's 45 grams, or 42, but you know, I'll do. Um, two tablespoons of erythritol. So this is powdered erythritol. Sweetener of choice because it does not impact your blood sugar levels and so two tablespoons of about 30 grams like so and I'm not going to add in the wet stuff yet right some salt helps if it's open there we go. Um, I put in some cinnamon and some baking powder. Baking powder, baking powder. I know we've got some. There it is. Baking powder, quarter teaspoon. It's less than that. There we go. Um, cinnamon, 
We've got a cinnamon button nut leg. Close the door. I guess not. No cinnamon. Never mind. Um right, I've got some Madagascan vanilla natural extract. Ooh, that's very rich, isn't it? <laughs> Um, oh, and of course the baking powder. So I'm going to add, I'm um, not the baking powder, chocolate. This is, let's make sure it is. Um, maybe not. I'll get the Dr. Oetker. I think that might be something else. So 100 grams, 8.9, yeah, this is the stuff. So I'm gonna add the 20 grams. Goes me, oh fuck it, let's finish it off. No, oh well. And Mix that up so the powder is all like mixed in together. Maybe a fork would be better. Now I haven't actually done this before. You might like know this. I've done other recipes, but they had considerably less ingredients. I'm wondering whether this mug is going to be a little bit too small. Quite possibly. Anyway, mix that all up. So that's my dry ingredients. It's the erythritol that just doesn't want to. Hmm. How about. Got like lots of white flakes in it, which I know is the erythritol not breaking up for some reason. Probably because I put in the vanilla extract too soon. Oh well, it'll go down at some point. Right, I need some butter. How much of that do I need? One and a half tablespoons. So about 20 grams or so. Mm. I might make two mug cakes because I'm getting a little bit suspicious as this is quite a lot. And this is just for, um, for one cake. Right. About 20 something grams. 24. And put a little bit more in. Right, mm. butter and chocolate. Now you'll have to excuse the noise a second because I'm going to shove it in the microwave behind you because it needs to be melted. It's good beef. And it also needs sour cream. a bit suspicious of this. Okay. Melted butter. And so we add that in. And give that a good mix in. Mixy, mixy moo. Get all the corners in. Okay, and the rest, and the last egg, the last egg, 
I didn't even check to see if we had any eggs before starting this recipe. How bad is that? That's so good luck. That it actually had an egg. That could quite easily have gone horribly wrong. Right, so we mix that in. Now it's starting to look a little bit like a lumpy cake batter. So, lumpy, spludgy, horrible cake batter. Mix, 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 mix. Making sure I've got all of the powder, like from the edges and stuff, all mixed in. There's a lot of recipes like um, on YouTube for these, and I've watched a few of them. But yeah, I've never actually made it in a mug before, and not this recipe. I've made other ones, but they haven't been as like stodgy as this. This is bizarre. Right, sour cream. So one and a half tablespoons of sour cream. So that's going to be... Uh, about 25 again. That's about right. <coughs> Sour cream in a cake. Weird. Right. Mix that in. I'll make sure I haven't forgotten any ingredients. Almond flour, erythritol, egg butter, sour cream, salt, vanilla, baking powder. Oh. God, it's so tough. I think it's better to do it in a bowl and not in a mug. And then maybe just transfer it into a mug. Although it is kind of looking cakey battery now. Can you see that? Right. So let's squidge it off. Excuse fingers, but I am relatively clean. Mm. It's only my germs anyway. Right. And I'll just scrape round the edge and try and push it down a little bit. Okay. Lick the ball. Mmm. That's nice. Good batter. Mmm. Right. Now I'm going to move you over here, so you can see the microwave. It's definitely not as squishy as I thought it would be. Right, I'm going to put it on for a minute and see how it goes. Meanwhile, I'm going to put things away. I'm going to put things away. I don't know what this is. I mean, some kind of cocoa something, but it smells more like hot chocolate. Oh, do you know what I could have put in? Some of this hazelnut soup. I wonder if it's not too late. Oh, it's rising a little bit. I'm going to see if I can... I'm going to add in some hazelnut syrup because I don't think it's too late just yet. Or well, I could have just completely ruined it. It's more like hot mousse right now. <laughs> okay. you're going to go back in again. Mmm. Mmm. That's better. Mm. And then how are we going to serve it? That's just presuming that it comes out. Me biscuit loves a bit of cream. Okay. Oh. 
apparently if you take it out after a certain amount of time you get like you know like chocolate lava in the inside so maybe we'll go for that now it rose a bit but, but it's still um, still squidgy so it might need the full like 90 seconds it is super chocolatey and yummy though I really hope this works Go out. You wanna go out as me? You can't go out. Look at it outside. Horrible. She won't listen. Right. Okay. That is one hot mug. Will it come out? <laughs> Slowly but surely. Come on, come on. Oh, it's broken in half. Come on. It is quite cakey consistency though, look. That looks kind of cakey. But definitely too deep a mug, I think. I reckon. Come on. Mm. Mm. Well, that's a big steaming cake there. <laughs> that looks good though. And I'm just going to have, where's my scales again? I'm going to measure it out just in case. I'm just going to have a little bit of this thick cream on top so how much is that yeah 15 grams of cream mm. so not loads but just enough for it to melt over the top and i've got this black forest gato flavor syrup to use up so i'm gonna have a big old squidge of that on there. There we go. I'll turn you around in a sec. You can watch me eat it. So here's my cakey. That looks quite good really, doesn't it? So let's give it a try. So we need to get some with the cream and syrup on because it's only fair for a first mouthful. That is good chocolate cake. I'm done in less than 10 minutes. And let's have a look at the stats. I know adding cocoa powder increases the um, carbs a little bit. Um, what does it say? About five grams of carbs and about 300 and something calories. But I'll give you the proper stats at the end. That is good. Mm. Right. I'm gonna take this and go watch a film now. Here come my stats for the day. I'm on about 1,500 calories. I'm a bit over on my protein, a bit under on my fat, a bit over on my carbs. But I'm around about the right area and I'm well into ketosis like purple. So it means I need to drink more fluids and eat this cake. Sorry it's just been a foodie one today. Or not sorry, you know. I'll be back again tomorrow. Uh, bye bye now, bye bye.